All right, new plan. We're gonna sweep the board. <laughs>
or not in response, excuse me, but uh, we can actually use this uh, past the Paladin class is kind of what I was trying to say there, so. All right. Let's see what they do. I don't want to see if they tap the uh, the Dean here. Looks like they're not going to, so I'm going to go ahead and force this. Uh, now, what they should do is tap it in response and then use the Killian uh, to attack in, which is perfectly fine by me. I don't really care that much. Uh, we're just trying to mill more cards. <laughs> uh, that's all that really matters here. All right, you got it. Uh, there's another land, which is helpful. Um, not quite up to this. Huh. I think we do this. Um, and I think we'll just keep this tap down as well. It's a little unexciting, I know, but uh, it draws us further into the deck and also sets up for Maddening Cacophony later on. Ooh, nice. Uh, Liliana is very good, but it actually, I mean, the minus three obviously does like nothing against us, so kind of okay with that. So we can foretell this for one, uh, which is quite helpful. How many cards do they have left? All right. But can we just beat them here? This. Um, all right, so we mill them for 16, and then we just play another Maddening Cacophony. And we do the thing. Yeah! All right, we did it! I mean, that wasn't too bad. I was kind of surprised, but I really like that. All right, cool. Well, game one, we did it, guys, and we ranked up. Let's see if we can do it again. All right, guys, here we are for our second game. Uh, and I mean, this isn't a super exciting hand, but we do have the Cinderclasm, which I think is a reasonable way, re a reasonable thing to keep here. Uh, I think we play Evolving Wilds turn one and then Hall next turn. Uh, we can get our second blue here. Now, depending on what they play, we may have to throw out the mountain. That's the only trick, but we'll see what happens. The Evolving Wilds is a little tricky, though, because obviously then that means uh, Ruin Crab gets a little worse, but that's fine. All right, Max, let's do it. Uh, let's see what they're going to do. All right, let's go ahead and play that Evolving Wilds out there. Um, now, this should be a tell that we're a Ruin Crab deck. There are very few other lists that actually run an Evolving Wilds. Um, and they also now know we don't have a Ruin Crab in hand, so reasonable things to think about. Um, I might just try and kill that. I know it's kind of unexciting, but them milling a card every turn I can only assume is a bad thing. <laughs> um, although it does actually help us, so is that the right play? I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Let's foretell this for now. That is an instant. I guess we could have saved it. Um, I'm trying to set up for next turn where we can either saw it coming or um, behold the multiverse. Um, but I kind of just want to be able to counter something. Ooh, Willow, guys. Okay, cool. Uh, yep. Just going to throw that out there. Mill for me, my friend. Please. There's a death hook. Meat hook, not death hook. Um, that's cool. Works for me. Um, they're helping me out, so they're already a quarter of the way through their deck. Uh, yeah, it's kind of fine. Um, target player mills three cards, return to land. I think I just let this happen. We lose two life and they gain two life, but that's fine. I think we're just going to end up leaving up Saw It coming as best we can, because, like, aside from that, I'm not really worried about too much. Um, I think we want both of those on the bottom, though. Cool. Nice. Yep. Hit me. Um, right? We just play the land and pass? I guess we could have played the hall. Doesn't really matter. What is this now? 3-3? Three, three? Okay. Uh, not that impressive, but cool. That's fine. 
depending on what we do, we can Glacial Grasp. It seems like they're pretty hellbent on playing on their first main phase, <laughs> uh, which makes that a little easier to do. <laughs> um, reasons why you shouldn't play everything on your first main phase. Uh, we could leave up a counter, or we could, could Glacial Grasp. Like, I think we just have to counter this, just because it's too strong for us to really deal with effectively. Um, and they milled another one. That's pretty good. I mean, is this a reanimator kind of thing? Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we just get to counter more. We do take three here, which is not good for us, but that's fine. All right, um, I'm going to throw this out. Uh, only because we can Cinderclasm plus Glacial Grasp, or we could just Maddening Cacophony. But I think we want to save that. Uh, okay. And exile a card from your graveyard. So they're just trying to build this guy up. And that's fine. I think they're really debating on what to do here. I would just take an old stick fingers out. Yeah, I mean, you can't use two of them. So pretty straightforward. All right. That's fine. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty good for us, actually. So we can just Cinderclasm and kill two of these guys. Um, let's kill these two. Uh, I guess they might have something, but I kind of doubt it. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, sure. That's fine. Um, I mean, it's not great for us, but that's cool. I guess we could counter it. Yeah, actually, I think I do counter it. Um, only so they're like kind of stuck without many cards in hand. Um, and maybe that's a little aggressive. I don't know, but that's fine. Uh, we are going to take four here, of course, but we're still at nine. Um, so I think that that's OK. Let's play Hall. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I mean, I don't think we do that, though. I think we just... We can... We're getting so close-ish. Um, I'm going to just hold up Glacial Grasp. I, I mean, I think that that's just the right call. We've got 37 cards left in their deck, though. That's a little problematic. Um, we can actually teach by example and... Glacial Grasp, which would tap this Skyclave as well if we want it to. Um, and just slow them down a little bit. Yep. All good. Um, let's teach by example. And let's Grasp. We'll tap this one first. Um, and then tap this one. All right. I mean, that buys us some time. This mills a couple cards, and it also draws us two, which is very, very relevant. Um, all right, cool. Not super great, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can just deal seven to them, which, I mean, isn't terrible, but it doesn't seem that relevant. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're just going to mill 16 cards. It's like the slowest way ever to copy a spell. <laughs> it's like five mana to copy a spell, but I think that's fine. Uh, sure. All right. So we really just need one more Maddening Cacophony, and we could technically win the game, right? Seems pretty good. Um,. They do have more shades that they can play, but they can't attack right away. So we basically have a turn to not die. Um, and if we do, it's fine. This is a, a silly deck anyway. So it's it's a fun deck. I will say I really like this deck. Um, it's I wouldn't say great, but it is really fun. Uh, yeah, play the shade. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. All right, cool. Uh. 
all of this is kind of fine. I don't really care. Um, that's less than good. That's very much less than good. Um, so I think we just die, right? I mean, we can block five, six, seven, eight, and nine, but they have exactly enough to kill us. Uh, we can do this. That's not helpful. Yeah, I mean, we're just dead. I'm going to go ahead and concede. It is what it is. It's a, it's a hit or miss stack. We actually got pretty close, though. So let's give it one more shot. I think we'll only do three games for this one, um, just to make sure that we're not overusing the uh, kind of a silly little combo. But I do think it's fun. So let's go ahead and jump into game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we definitely keep. Uh, we'll just play this. I'm going to hold on to that Evolving Wilds. We might be able to do something with it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Um, definitely just for tell. This could be really good against this deck, given that it's the play multiple things a turn deck. Most of their stuff is very cheap. Um, so that's kind of nice. Uh, and hey, we've got like a million lands. So we just leave out the counter here. Uh, next turn, we'll probably just end up passing, I guess. Oh, yes. Thank goodness. That's a heck of a card to be able to counter. Uh, get that out of there. All right. They get in for two. That's not the end of the world. Um, let's do this. And let's just foretell this. We can obviously just play it at the end of the turn, but we have to kind of make them think we have a counter, basically. Um, the idea being we're going to play this at the end of the turn. Uh, that's going to draw us a bunch, which is great. Uh, and then next turn, we can teach by example with the hideous laughter, which is kind of killer. Um, just because this is such a cheap deck uh, on mana cost in that we should be able to do a good bit. Oh, um, what's our battlefield look like? Yeah, I think I do want that. That might be a better play. <laughs> um, hmm. So we can sweep the board. All right, new plan. We're going to sweep the board. <laughs> uh, there's no reason not to. Just get everything out of there. Yeah, that seems pretty good. <laughs> All right, next turn. What? They just gave up. Okay, yeah, that was really good. Um, all right, look, I know I said only three games, but that was really quick, so we're going to play one more. All right, guys, here we are. This truly will be our last game, I promise. Um, but do we keep this? Uh, sure. It's not great, but it's fine. Let's throw you out. Might as well go ahead and get the haul down uh, while we can. Let's do this. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and foretell here. Set ourselves up a little bit. This is going to be pretty hefty mono green, I imagine. So that's a little scary. Um, go ahead and crack this for red. Since we are going to need red. And I guess we'll just foretell this, actually. We're kind of playing it a bit slow, but we've got dual strikes here. Like, we've also got Rutha, so... I kind of just want to be able to um, double up on some of these mill spells. Uh, let's see. We do kind of need to get a move on, though, don't we? Um, all right, let's dual strike and let's madden in Cacophony. I'm going to mill 16. It's not a ton, but it is a decent amount. Gets him down about halfway. Uh, oh. We got some good stuff, too. I mean, not that it's kind of impossible not to get some good stuff in 16 cards, but all right. Um... Uh, the hideout's not going to be quite as good this time, um, and we can't kick her this. That's a bit of a problem. Hmm. I don't know what the right call is here. We're just like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're probably just dead this coming turn. Ah, screw it. Let's just hide out. Technically, the thing that we should do, not hide out, hideous laughter. What we should do is play this out so we have a blocker, but yeah, we're just dead anyway. All right, cool. You got me. 
Well, that was a super quick game too, and we are dead. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's chat about this. All right, so is this deck good? Nah, not really. Uh, but is it fun? Absolutely. Uh, I love these kinds of decks. They're like you have to work to get the win, um, but when you do, it's that much more satisfying. And we did get a win. I mean, it was kind of a silly one. We didn't actually mill anything. We just did it, uh, or we just swept the board. But regardless, it was very, very fun. Actually, we got two wins. We did mill in the first game. I forgot about that. Um, regardless, playing decks like this and trying decks like this, I think is such an important piece of magic because it's easy to get stuck in a rut. And what I mean by that is if you're a mono green player, chances are you like to play really big, just powerful creatures, swing in for the attack, and maybe fight a few things off along the way. Uh, and there is nothing wrong with that. Let me be very clear. It's very good, in fact. But uh, what you don't get to do because you always maybe play mono green is that you don't get to try out different strategies and different uh, little combos and pieces that are there and you're aware of them, but learning how they work helps you learn how to beat them. Uh, it also is really just fun to try new things in my view. So I love trying little silly decks like this every once in a while. Uh, it just makes for a fun time. And so I would encourage you if it may not even be this deck, but if you haven't played or gotten outside of your comfort zone every once in a while, try something new, just try it. You may not love it, you may hate it, that should only solidify your love for whatever you're playing currently even more. Uh, so it's really a win-win situation regardless. But I thought this was really funny. No, it is not good. I do enjoy it, though. Uh, thank you again. Let me find, let me make sure I credit the person, Alinor89. Thank you so much for creating this list. It is really fun. Uh, it's silly, but it's fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you were not already. Stay tuned on November 24th. We will have the giveaway announcement for a free Crimson Val bundle. But until then, guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.